Right, good morning everyone. Welcome to Tuesday's Learning. I do not have Ivy with me this morning. I'm sorry, she has gone off to sleep in a different room. So uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with yesterday's joke answer. And the question was, what is a cat's favourite colour? And the answer, which loads of you got on the ear for um, chat, is perfect. Purple, sorry, purple. Um, and I've got a new joke for you today, which I'm going to tell you after. We've gone through our timetable and we've also talked about today in history. So today is the 2nd of March and I've got three more things that happened on this day in history. So I'm going to start off with the earliest one, which happened in 1956. And in 1956, Morocco, which is a country in Africa, first gained its independence. So that means before that date, Morocco was actually ruled over by France, which actually I didn't know. So it's quite interesting. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people in Morocco, which is in Africa, speak French, as do a lot of other places in Africa. They used to have French rulers, so they still speak French there today. Right, um, another fact is in 1965, on this day, the film The Sound of Music, which some of you probably know, it's got some quite famous songs in it, like How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria, High on the Hill Was a Lonely Goat, um, a few of my favourite things, loads of them, loads and loads of really famous songs. Um, it won the Academy Award, so the Oscar for Best Picture in 1965. Uh, and then my final thing that happened on this day, so in 1968, only three years after the last one, a famous actor was born, and this actor's name is Daniel Craig. So what does Daniel Craig play? Who is he really famous for playing? If you could leave that in the year four chat as well, I'd love to see if you guys are a bit of a film buff and if you know who Daniel Craig is famous for playing. Right, okay, now on to today's um, timetable. So today's timetable, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I hope you're really going to enjoy it. It's a little bit more arty and we're also doing some DT. So we're actually making something today. Sorry, there's some cluttering going on in my house. So first of all, we're going to start with some exercise. We've got some Harry Potter themed yoga just underneath here. Well, underneath Mr. Savage's video about a song about cats. Underneath that, underneath the timetable, then you've got your daily exercise. Then we've got numeracy, which again is some outdoor challenges. Mr. Savage has put loads of things up there to, for you to choose from. If you could upload a picture of you doing one of those, that would be fabulous. I really look forward to seeing them. Um, then we've got our break time. And then after break, we've got the first part of our art slash DT lesson. So that's on the assignment as part one. I've posted two parts. So the first part is you're going to be making a diary. And that is all explained in the video below. Sorry, I think I've got hiccups. Um, and then, then we have some spelling practice. So this week's spelling, it's our first opportunity to practice that. Then we've got lunch. Then we've got story time where we're learning about some more women in science. And today we've actually got someone you might have heard of. So um, listen up for those because they're still really interesting. I'm really enjoying these little stories. Then we've got 45 minutes to continue with our art and DT. And this time I want you to focus on decorating your diary. So you've made it in the first part of the day and then you're decorating it later on. Um, I've also done a video for that for some suggestions on how you could decorate it and left my example there. After that, we've got our literacy lesson and we're going to be writing our diary entry about today. It doesn't need to be anywhere near as long as yesterday's. Um, I'd quite like it if you could try and break it into at least two paragraphs, so maybe one about the morning and one about the afternoon. Um, remember, you need to include interesting details and today the aim is we are going to use possessive apostrophes, but the video all explains that as well. Then we've got reading for pleasure and it's our second um, part of Max and the Millions, which I really hope you will listen to because it's going to be something we're studying when we come back into school. Okay, so on to today's joke. Today's joke is about maths. So why was the maths book sad? Why was the maths book sad? I'd like you to 
write down your answer or what you think the answer could be in the year four chat and have a lovely day guys I hope you enjoy doing something a little bit more creative today